Hey guys, crew at Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. Uh, guys, we got a new package from our P.O. Box. Uh, Calvin, I believe you have the package on you. Yes, Bring I it do. forth. <sighs> Grasp it. What are you doing? Ugh, Bring it it's forth. It's so big! It's like you're giving birth. <sighs> Alright, that uh, that's, looks heavy. That's a pretty big package. Where'd you have this? Thank you. Hi. Right. Calvin Knife. <laughs> Alright, what's in the package? Be careful, Aaron. What's in the box? What's in the box? It works better if you just use the corner of the right. do that. Corner of what? Corner of the blade. Not the tip, the corner. Just the tip. It's actually a console point. It's a game I play all the time. What we got? Exploding kittens! What? What? I I <laughs> it's a game! <laughs> Not safe for work deck. <laughs> yes! Holy shit! Okay, so we got some, a board game. George R. R. Martin's... Ooh! The Hedge Knight. The Hedge Knight. The Hedge Knight is a... Uh, it's a Game of Thrones thing. Yeah. Oh! I really wanted this for a long Did time. Did you really? Yeah. I know you've talked about the Hedge Knights. Yeah. Oh, it's a graphic it's novel! A graphic novel. There's another one. Ah! The Sworn Sword! It's got a little bit of a bent corner. I don't know who the Sworn Sword is. I know who that hedge knight is. What? Game of risk. Thrones Risk? The Game of what? Thrones Risk. Eric, we have a new game night thing we gotta do now. Huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Over 650 pieces. This is awesome. 650 right. pieces? Exploding Kittens? What's that? Exploding Kittens is a card game and it's marked not safe for work ages i love not safe for work games ages 30 and up <laughs> question mark <laughs> wow shit none of us can All play right. two to five players <laughs> i can't play for like we're allowed to play this for like seven years, years. Yeah, calvin, yeah calvin can't play this for another 12 years 12 really <laughs> what at least keep it consistent 18 18 years thank you no you're 18. 15 around 15 last minutes. time i was 12 well, and that it takes, like it takes around video. 15 minutes to play, so that'd be perfect for that'd a video. That'd be fun, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. All right. Risk is going to take a little while. Risk is going to take a while. Hi, guys. Have... Hang on. Hi, guys. You mentioned that you wanted to do more game videos with its short playtime. I thought this might be fun from yeah. Michael. Then it says, hi, guys. As you probably know, the Dunk and Egg prequel no novellas are spoiler-free for the main Game of Thrones series. Mm -hmm. Just in case you don't have the graphic novels already, have a good one. Will this be fun? Meh, I don't know. It looks cool. From Michael. <laughs> that must be the Risk one, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Because the other one's short. And then, hi guys, as you know, the prequel novellas, spoiler free. Okay, same one as the graphic novels. Have a good one. That's so, awesome. From Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Michael. I got it. No wonder that box is so heavy. It had all this right? stuff in it. had all the good loot in it. It had tons of things in yeah, it. Yeah, we got a loot crate. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> look, oh, look at this. I want to play some Exploding Kittens. Yeah. Does it say what the game is? Um, created by Ellen Lee, Xbox ARG, Matthew Inman, The Oatmeal, and Shane Small, Xbox Marvel. Exploding Kittens made Kickstarter history in early 2015 when over 219,000 people backed the project. Mm. The game is a highly strategic, kitty-powered version of Russian Roulette. <laughs> okay. Players draw cards until someone draws an exploding kitten, at which point they explode. They're dead, <laughs> and they're out of the game. Okay. All of the other cards are used to defuse, mitigate, or avoid the exploding kittens. This NSFW version of the game contains the full version of exploding kittens, but the artwork on each card has been replaced with content too horrible slash amazing to be used in the standard Exploding Kittens <laughs> game. It can be played by itself or combined with another deck to accommodate up to nine players. That's cool. And this version is two to five players. All right, perfect. It says two minutes to learn, 15 minutes to play, and ages 30 and up. All right, we'll, question mark. We'll play it here in like four years. Yeah. Since <laughs> we're not old enough. Yeah, yet. we're not old enough. Um, dude, this is so cool. They have the, the Stark pieces. The Baratheon, Lannisters, Martell, Targaryen, Tyrell. Uh, I don't know Giscari. Which one's Giscari's? Uh, that's the Gis Empire, I believe. Oh, is that over on the other that's side us. of the... Okay, okay. Sounds like I recognize all these names. I don't recognize that. Yeah, flip through them a little bit. I did. Oh, yeah, look, camera, not for camera. Look, look you gotta go ah. through... You can start in the north. Ah! And take over. Ah! Look at that. Yeah, you can get it. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Isn't that cool? Good ethos and yeah. everything. So now, cool. I've never played Risk before. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it's, so much, it's, it's a I lot of fun. I played a lot when I was younger. I mean, it takes a long time. It can, take, it can take a while to play. Like that, This could be like, like we start part. one and it takes like Risk Part 1, <laughs> Risk okay. Part 2, and it takes like, a, um, like four videos to beat her. Okay. Yeah. I've heard people having games where they played to the rules and they played so well that they played for like months at a time. My, uh, my brother-in-laws will play this and they'll have paper and stuff sitting around and they'll write out like notes to different people and make like secret alliances and hmm. stuff and just passing ah, the paper nice you know it's so, like yeah. they might write down two different things and give it to two different people and like I might send one to you and it just says fuck you and the other one says to Calvin let's kill Eric <laughs> 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 like, okay. just that we both got pages and then you both just like you both think that the same thing like I might he's thinking did he give him one that says let's kill Calvin yeah <laughs> or you, and you're thinking did he say one that says fuck you to Calvin <laughs> That's cool. So <laughs> it's, a, it's just a fun little idea. I like that. But yeah, all this is cool. Yeah, well, I like I like how the army pieces and I can look like at pictures. The, the army markers are actually the yeah, same the markers house. as the battle board. Yep. In uh, Rob's war room. Mm-hmm. So are these? Do these go along the lines of the? These are these are prequels, I believe. Okay. Does it go along the lines of the uh, night whatever novella yeah, thing up d- there? Yeah, the Dunkin' Egg stories. Mm. Interesting. Is it cool? I didn't know they made this stuff. Yeah, now there is a, a Game of Thrones adaptation separately from the television show that's a graphic novel as well. Hmm. That I've seen, I think I have, I have one of the comics, but I don't have any of the graphic novels. So this don't is read pretty cool. Issue 5, issue 6, man, oh, this is awesome. Oh, so it's a... Co- oh, it is! Oh, look, uncolored art. Yeah, the back has uncolored art. This is... And oh, concept wow. images, too. Oh, nice. look at that. Look at that. What? It's like, a, it's like a guy with like a big giant dragon behind him. It's probably hard to see. But I'm a, I'm cool a, he's probably style. a dragon knight. Targaryen. Dragon. What about Dutini? Huh? Dragon knight. Dutini. No. Dragonair. No. Gyarados. No. Charizard. Garchomp. Sweet. All right. So, uh, thank you. Um, who's this? Michael. Michael. My- just, just said Michael. Just Michael. Michael. Thank you, only Michael, uh, for this awesome crate of, of shit. This is a lot of good shit. <laughs> I'm super happy with this shit. This is good stuff. I want to play some exploding kittens. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to do that. So, uh, if you guys have anything that you would like to send us, any Game of Thrones merchandise or board games or anything that you think would uh, be cool for either our shelf or playing... Oh my gosh, torture bunnies! Or playing uh, <laughs> sorry, on the channel. Aaron, they can send that where? To P.O. Box 304, Marriott, Ohio. Four five seven five zero. Yep, you can find that down in the description below, along with all of our social media accounts. You can hit the subscribe button and the like button, and you can come back for next video. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. <laughs> I'm Aaron. And we got a button here somewhere. Calvin, button. <laughs>